All right, questions for Jeff? Start with John Corrales. Hey, Jeff. Um, now with Kemba being down for a little bit, this might be a little bit more opportunity than you expected even when you signed. Um, what are you looking to contribute right away here with the Celtics? Uh, really just trying to establish a role and play a role that um, I know I can play. But, I mean, we have a lot of talented guards on this team and a group that everybody's going to need to step up with Kimba being gone, me, the big part of this team. But uh, I'm just trying to do what I can do, um, try to help this team as best as I can. Mark Murphy. Hey, Jeff. Um, I know you're very familiar with Jalen, but what about overall just the young core of this team and working with them? I and mean, what kind of influence do you see yourself having? Uh, I'm a fun guy, um, so I like to joke around and, you know, try to establish a relationship with guys, you know, off the court. But these guys on the court, man, they're talented. Uh, they know what it takes. They've been in the Eastern Conference Finals. And I'm just here to try to help push that forward. Um, hopefully our goal is to get to the championship, and I'm going to try to do what I can um, to help these guys. I mean, they were right there last year. So uh, just bring a little more energy, a little more effort, and – you know, just try to be a leader for these guys on and off the court. Chris Ryan. Hey, Jeff, how do you feel, you know, a veteran influence like yours and also Tristan Thompson's is going to benefit this group in taking that next step? Like, uh, I think just, you know, having a chance to have some guys come off the bench or whatever role we have to play, to have some establish themselves in the league pretty well, but know how to win. Um, I think we've both been on winning teams most of our career. And we've been in playoff grinds and been in the East Conference Finals and things like that, but been in a lot of playoff games and battles. And, you know, I think having these kind of guys coming off the bench or whatever role we play has just benefit in the long run. Taylor Snow. Jeff, uh, speaking of established guys in this league, you you played briefly with Evan Turner last season, and now he's following you here to Boston. Um, <laughs> What, what do you think he'll be able to offer from a coaching role? And also, is it strange being the same age as one of your coaches? Yeah, that's crazy. Um, E.T., that's my guy, man. I know E.T. since I was 13. So, um, to see him being a coach is pretty weird right now. But, um, you know, he has a lot of insight on the game, man, being a number two pick and playing really well, being a kind of like a Celtics folk hero almost. Like, everybody loves him around here. Everybody's talked so highly about him here. And they should because he's a really good guy, um, funny guy. But I'm happy to see him, you know, being able to transition in his career um, to something that he really wants to do. He really wanted to coach. And I think he did enough in his playing career. Um, played 10 years in the NBA is pretty remarkable. Gary Washburn. Hey, Jeff. Um, you were a, a, a kind of a staple in Atlanta. Then you got traded to Indiana, then signed with Minnesota and then back to Atlanta. What, what's the last few years been like for you, kind of bouncing around and, and things didn't work out, not for you, but for, for Minnesota for, for various reasons? And what's it like to be here, a team that has championship aspirations? Yeah, um, the Indiana situation was fun. Uh, Minnesota, the first year, like you said, it was, it was fun. Uh, we had a competitive group. We had a really good team. And after that, you know, things did what they do. And uh, those last couple of years in Minnesota was rough. Um, you know, just not having a chance to win. Um, I was used to playing in the playoffs. I had a streak, I think, nine years straight I was in the playoffs. So not having a chance to compete in the last couple of years was, you know, pretty painful. But coming here was all about winning. Um, they established themselves as a great team. You have a core guys who all are all-star players. and. Y'all trying to win a championship. So I wanted to be a part of that. And I never really had a team besides my years in Atlanta that I felt that I could actually get to the championship besides this one. Brian, Rob. Hey, Jeff. Um, you talked a little bit about there in terms of just the appeal of Boston with winning. But what was, uh, you know, when free agency started, what did uh, Danny or Brad kind of say to you that, you know, beyond just that in terms of what they kind of, foresaw a role for you here in terms of what you can bring to the table? Uh, they knew that the situation probably was a little different for me. 
because of how things were with COVID and all these things. And probably wasn't my ideal scenario, but I told them like, man, this was a special place and it's the place that I wanted to be. And they told me like, uh, you get here, it's a, it's a role for you. You have an opportunity to compete at a high level. And you know, however you play, you can make it. And it was like, it's been a bounce back year basically for me because of the circumstances that I was with. I was with Minnesota, Atlanta, bouncing around a little bit. It was like, man, you could reestablish yourself here and hopefully uh, I could play well and that can happen. All right, we're gonna wrap it up right there. Thanks, Jeff. All right, thanks.